Hello. I am primary source. And me. Well, I'm secondary source. We are here today to help you better understand primary sources. And secondary sources, like I said, I am primary source. When discussing a historical event, I was there. I saw it happen. I can also be a document or an object that was created during the event or during that time period. Because I saw the event or lived during a particular time period, I can offer an inside view of what happened. I can tell you my personal feelings about what I saw or experienced. I can tell you whether it made me happy, sad, angry or scared. As a primary source I can be many things. I can be a diary or a speech. I can be a letter or an autobiography. I can be official records, film footage or photographs. I can be music, art, pottery, furniture, clothing, or many more things. As a secondary source, I was not at the actual event. I know about the historical event, or that time period and I can tell you about it, but I did not witness it or experience it myself. I'm telling you about it second hand. Because I was not actually at the event, I can offer more than one point of view. I can also analyze and interpret information from primary sources and sometimes make them easier to understand. As a secondary source, I'm not all of those cool things, but I can offer a variety of easy-to-find options. I can be textbooks, magazine articles, histories, encyclopedias and documentaries like you see on the Discovery Channel and the History Channel. I hope this has helped you understand primary and secondary sources. During this school year, you will have opportunities to use both types of sources and it's important to know the difference between the two. Remember, go Titans! And, let's keep it real!